Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to talk about my latest obsession and that's black bags. After I did my entire handbag collection, I came to realise I actually don't have a nice, simple, understated black work bag. If you've been following me for a long time, there was one bag that I bought years ago and I thought that would be the one and that was my Gucci bamboo bag. When I got that, I thought yes, no logos, all he had was the iconic bamboo handle. However, I ended up selling that bag because it was a little bit too small for my work and sadly, I needed a bit more space. I have two black bags which are sort of suitable for work. Firstly, my Chanel Jumbo in black and silver hardware and I also have my new Oriton tote. Let's talk about the tote first. The tote to me is very casual and I can just put a lot of things inside and not really care about the shape. It does look a little messy, you know what I mean? It's not very, uh, I don't use the word posh, but it's not very uh, corporate like because it's a tote and it's very big and once you stuff it uh, quite a lot, it can look very, you know, like you're going marketing. It's like a really everyday tote. So if I was going for meetings or I want something a little bit more structured, that actually is not suitable. Then let's talk about my Chanel Jumbo. Though it's a very structured bag, my problem with it is it's loud. It's, <laughs> it's so iconic that it's loud, even though it's silver hardware and silver hardware is more understated. The Chanel Jumbo is a loud bag. The chain and the detailing and the quilts make it very outstanding. So I have been on a lookout for a black bag and guys, I need your help because really there are so many black bags but I have specific criteria and one of the biggest criteria that I want is a back slip pocket. It's not just a dinky pocket, I want like a whole compartment at the side where if it's a top, you know, a flap like a Chanel 19 flap, I can still access certain things very conveniently at a side slip pocket. If it's a tote, also has to have a slip pocket. So I am hunting for that perfect black bag. I don't need it today, I don't need it this year, but it is something that I have been wanting for a long time and I thought my Gucci would fulfill it, but yeah, it just didn't. I always had to open it and I realized a slip compartment at the back is so, so perfect. It's like my main criteria. So I have been searching and I have listed down quite a few bags and if any of you have any of these bags, please, please let me know your experience with it. Let me know what you think about it. Is it the right size that I'm looking at? You know, maybe I should get in a different material, a different hardware, a different, um, I don't know, anything, a different pattern because I am looking for that perfect black bag. So I got three categories, a flat bag with a slip compartment, tote bags with a slip compartment and then the third is zip bag with slip compartments. Let's start with flat bags with slip compartments and I said it earlier, the Chanel 19 um, is definitely a huge contender. It is loud. That's the only thing. It's like why buy another bag but it's really similar to my Jumbo that is just as loud, right? It's got even chunkier chains and it's even more iconic. The main thing that attracts me so much to that bag is the slip compartment, that huge back pocket is amazing, okay? If you have seen it in store, I mean, I'm, I'm sure some of you have already, that slip compartment at the back is large. It's huge, it's so much space. Oh, I love it so much. The only thing is, it doesn't really fit my criteria for being understated. But yes, that is one item on my mind. The second bag is also from Chanel. And actually, Chanel is not a real good uh, option for me just because they have a lot of quilts. They don't have like any kind of smooth leather, but still they have that slip compartment. I'm like, oh, I need a slip compartment. <laughs> it is the business affinity in the medium size, not the small because the small, like I said, it doesn't fit enough for me to use uh, for work. But I think the medium size and I believe I saw Gina with that bag and I believe Jerusha also has the medium size. I think that is a good option. I don't know. I feel like it's still kind of loud, but it's more understated than the Chanel 19. 
don't know, I need you guys to help me out, so... Next is from LV, and I feel like this bag is the leather version of the Pochette Matisse. It is the My Lock Me. It comes with a zip compartment at the back. So instead of a slip compartment, it has a zip at the back, which... Kind of, you know, like it, uh, yeah, it's kind of like the same. I feel like, you know, you could still use it uh, unzipped and it would fit enough. I'll have to see it in the store. The version that I think is more understated would be the one with the matte black hardware. Actually, is really nice. But, uh, I don't know, I feel like it's still missing something. <laughs> I just feel like it's not perfect enough. Third bag that is also playing on my mind is actually the YSL college bag or collage bag. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. This has come up on my radar several times. I love the back compartment, the slip compartment at the back. The size is actually really good for traveling, for work. And yeah, I think even even though it is um, that chevron pattern, it still does, it's not as loud. Though I would have preferred it if it was smooth leather. You know what I mean? I feel like a black bag with smooth leather just seems so much more professional and so much more understated. Actually, that bag is very popular, but some people like it and some people don't, and I'm not really sure why. Is it the structure? Is it the size? Is it the weight? Moving on to totes with slip compartments. And I do find that totes are a little bit challenging to find slip compartments. Some of them, the, comp the slip compartment is like at the side and it's like really stuck to the handle. Or some of it is in the middle. So, eh, we'll see. The first, okay, is also from YSL. It's the Sac Le Jour bag. And if I get it not in the micro size or mini size, the size up, there is like a compartment in the middle that splits the two, splits the bag in half. I think so. If I'm, if I'm trying to recall that correctly, I feel like that's how the design is. It comes with a top handle, which is something that I want, and also with a strap. What really attracts me to the YSL Sac de Joe, and it's actually a big contender, is the simplicity. It's just you know, really simple, there isn't much hardware on it, I can get it in smooth leather or I can get it in like slightly grain, definitely not the embossed leather and it looks very professional. So yeah, that's a big contender, it's just that it doesn't have security. So that's another problem that I have. With flat bags, I get that security but with this tote, it's open styled and if I'm traveling, that's not something that I want. So, ah. Uh, it's really hard! <laughs> the next two bags are actually from LV. I could not find a simple tote from Chanel. That, and like I said earlier, Chanel is actually not a good example. They are very iconic with their quilts. But, you know, LV has a couple that I, I really like. Okay, so first, it's called the City Steamer. I think that's how... I don't really like the name, but City Steamer. <laughs> And they actually have a new size, which is the mini or the small. It has two slip compartments. One which is a zipped at the top and one which is like stuck with the lock. I feel like that really fulfills my slip compartment uh, requirement. Still have to figure out what to do with the open portion of it. This next bag is actually quite loud, but I really like it. It has this slip compartment, which I absolutely love. Two slip compartments, in fact. It has a strap, it has a top uh, handle as a tote. It's like LV's version of the Celine uh, mini luggage and a Birkin and the City Steamer all put together and it's really, really stunning. What really makes me very attracted to it is the weight. It's actually really light. But yeah, that's new. I don't think any of you have it yet. But yeah, it just came out like this season. I only have one bag which is a zip and a slip compartment and that's called the LV Haumia. <laughs> the name is terrible but this bag, when I, when I first looked at it, actually it's not very pretty. It's very, it's very matured, okay, and it looks, yeah, it looks like something my mom would use except it really fulfills what I want. It fulfills the fact that it's got that zip which is security and where the back you know, kind of like folds in, that portion in the middle are actually slip compartments, front and back. It has a beautiful strap. 
it is actually a really really good functional bag the weight is maybe slightly heavier than the on my side bag the only thing it just looks really old and mature so <laughs> it's something that I you know even though I know that it might actually be a very functional piece in my collection it just looks really dowdy but yeah so that's another bag last bag that popped into my mind is kind of like a contingency and that's the Givenchy Antigona it does not have a slip compartment but it has everything else it has the handles it has the strap it has the simplicity and I can pick it in a size that's not too large and loud. The only thing, it doesn't have a slip compartment. So can I not take a slip compartment and just plunge for this as a black bag, black work bag, black travel bag, bag black bag for going out? It is actually a big possibility. But yeah, I am still hunting for the bag with the slip compartment and it's a hunt. So I hope you guys enjoyed my rambling. If you have any other black bag recommendations that's not too large but not too small and you think would fulfill my need for a slip compartment, please please leave it in the comment section down below. I will definitely check it out. I am on the hunt. I am on the lookout because it's, you know, it will complete my entire collection to have that simple understated black bag. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, do give me a thumbs up. It will help me with my channel. Hope you guys are subscribed and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you will be notified every time I upload. I am on the proper uploading schedule now every Tuesday and Fridays. And I try to do a Tuesday evening. I'm following Singapore time and then a Friday morning so that I can get folks from two sides of the world. <laughs> so you guys take care and I will see you in my next video. Bye.